heading out right now to go to Jenna's house. Jenna and I are doing a little Galentine's today. Brooklyn is busy today, unfortunately. We thought she was gonna be able to come with us, but she's busy today, so it's just gonna be the two of us. We're gonna head over to Fashion Valley. I have, oh, I gotta put something in the mailbox. So we're gonna go down to Fashion Valley. I actually haven't been down to Fashion Valley in like quite some time. It's been a long time. I remember going there with my high school boyfriend randomly here and there when I was allowed out of the house, which was a monumentous occasion. Monumentous, is that a word? As we kind of talked about in one of our recent podcast episodes, I really don't spend a whole lot of money on clothes or myself in general, but I will buy nice shoes and purses. So I haven't bought a new purse, like a nice purse, in over two years or something. This Chloe one that I have down here is the last one I got and I was married when I bought that. Recreating our high school days. Yeah, yes. I can't believe a mini skirt, low waisted mini skirt, is in a store right we now. We are down to here. <laughs> oh my but god! But you cannot put the belt <laughs> in the loops. You have to put it over. Yeah, exactly. Actually, I really like that black shirt. That would be cute with it. Pretty successful day shopping. We didn't find any good bags. I mean, we did find good bags, but we didn't buy anything. We're just being good girls. Yeah. <laughs> We are in Del Mar. We're going to Monarch, which you've been wanting to go to for a while, huh? I have. I love this place. I've only been twice, so we're gonna check it out. I'm fucking starving, so hopefully we can catch the sunset as well. We don't say cheers to me, cheers to you. Here's a toast to a hell of a view. Everybody says that together. Yeah! yeah. 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 Happy Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day and I need to show you guys the beautiful flowers that Nick brought home for me. Today's uh, a crazy day. We're gonna shave Nick's mustache off. We just filmed like a reel with it and that thing is gonna go. Dude, that thing has been like, like you haven't, like your soul patch to it. Like everything is just so long. Yeah, it's good right now. We can actually make out tonight for Valentine's Day. I did. look like I'm 12 again. You are. <laughs> I just went to an OB appointment too. Um, that was like the fastest thing ever. They just checked the heartbeat and everything. And then I'll tell you about the glucose testing because I'm not gonna do that, but. Um, oh, this camera's getting really heavy. All right, let's shave, let's shave it off. Are you ready? I am. PSA to all the firemen that Nick works with. I did not make him shave this off. It was of his own choice. I'm over it. <laughs> there it is, on camera. Say it again. I'm over it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me see. This is my right side. <laughs> Do I look different? You don't care. You just like my voice. She yeah. knows your smell. Oh. oh, it's so weird. I can see your teeth <laughs> and your lips. Yeah, I like it. Oh, that's that's just that's that looks like my pubes. And that was all the extra of the soul patch. Holy shit. <laughs> These are the beautiful flowers that Nick brought home. And you said this was like a local lady? Milano flower growers. Just like um, up the street from his station. These are so pretty. Nick had a great idea to go take the Bronco um, to Pacific, Bo Pacific Coast Bar and Grill uh, over in Cardiff. So I'm doing like the world's fastest makeup right now because 
I'm not ready for like a Valentine's Day happy hour. So I'm just gonna, um, actually, you know what, before I do blush. So I'm trying to like, just do the very basic. And if you guys know me, you know that I don't really do um, quick makeup well. It's just not something that I do. <laughs> I'm trying to think, do I have like, will that work? Cause this um, Huda stuff is like a skin tint. So I'm gonna try this. I just wanna smear something all over my face a little bit, even my skin tone a tiny bit. The only time I will rush to do my makeup is if like there's a legitimate reason and we don't wanna be driving the Bronco after the sun sets by the beach cause it is quite cold after that. We both went to the chiropractor earlier and it was so nice. Oh my gosh, my neck and back cracked so much it's crazy so about like a package and i'm gonna go um i bought six only because like after i have the baby like i don't know how often i'm gonna make it down there so i'd rather just buy those as i go rather than my money just being like tied up in a package of chiropractor stuff because like honestly the last chiropractor that I did that with I spent $1,600 on the package and I think I used one of them so far and then I moved out of Carlsbad so bad planning on my part for sure okay so here's some ColourPop blush last time I wore this this shit removed my um foundation pretty bad so I was like okay I guess I'm gonna have to wear that like without foundation so Let's hope this just blends out. That seems to work with the skin tint because it didn't remove much because the skin tint is such a tint anyway. I'm gonna powder a tiny bit so I don't look too oily. Okay, what else? I think the other big things for me are eyebrows, which I really don't have time to make much of a difference with because they really need to be completely drawn on. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. It's probably not doing anything, but because I have so few eyebrow hairs, but I don't know. It feels like I'm trying at least. <laughs> yeah, this shit literally does nothing for my eyebrows. Like, hi Piper. a little bit of glow and no makeup I feel like that makes all the difference that blush looks really good I don't know if you guys can tell from that but like it gave me a little bit of life now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and put some mascara on and I think we're good to go Actually, that's probably a really bad idea in the Bronco. Lip gloss is always a bad idea in the Bronco. That's a bad idea. <laughs> I think we're good. There's my look. Very simple. No eyebrows. It's just my lot in life. I'm gonna put a little bit of perfume on. This is the Jo Malone Honeysuckle and De Devena. I forgot to put um, deodorant on today. I don't know if anything is gonna mask that, but we tried, we tried, we gotta go. Valentine's Day. Good. Who are we going to, who are we going on a date with? You. <laughs> so, I didn't end up vlogging at all because <laughs> I left the camera in the center console of the uh, Bronco. My frog fuzz on top of my head was so jacked up. I had to do like a serious deep conditioning treatment on it. I sneeze. Please don't be your pants. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pee my pants. It's good. Um, I got this heating pad going because my back. My pants. Did you? Uh huh. <laughs> I got this heating pad going. My back is freaking killing me. Oh. Joseph. Get the fuck off the screen. Hey, get inside. He's Come on. Caught, huh? Come on. Yeah. He's trying to decide if he's like, wants to come in. Like you open the door and he's like, oh, I'll think about it. The robbers could hear a manly voice shouting orders to the donkey, telling the animal which way to turn. But there was no rider to be seen. It 
is the day after Valentine's Day. We're getting going. Put up a video today. I need to film a little Instagram stories for Puffy, our mattress. So I just ripped everything off the bed. It is raining today. <sighs> I love sunny days. I wish it was sunny. Girl is kicking. So I'm gonna film this right now and I do my makeup super quick. Nick was like, whatever this is, whatever you did here, I like that. And I was like, so it's literally everything I normally do. Like I literally have bronzer on, I have highlight on, I have blush on. Well, I don't have lashes on and not much eyeshadow, but I was like, it's literally all the same stuff I normally do, but just like less of it. And then this is like the Huda Beauty skin stuff. This camera um, like makes your skin look a little bit nicer. So it doesn't quite look like that in person, but um, yeah, I actually really like this. It's like the skin tint. shaved down there. Let's uh, see how I did. <laughs> this muscle is creating the I do? opening to where her lip should be. Yeah, you did good. <laughs> what would you rate it? Out of 100? No, like an A plus? Oh yeah, A plus with honors. A plus? Really? Yeah. yeah. Then you have a mirror. Yeah, you did a great job. I am popping this clip in here. It's March 2nd, I think. I'm finally feeling like I might be able to kind of quickly just tell you guys what happened with Leo. Um, hopefully I can get through this without crying. I feel like I've been crying a lot about animals lately and it's just really sad. I've had a pretty rough year in terms of losing animals, um, you know. A lot of that comes along with rescuing animals, like a lot of the rescues that you get are neglected and they come with a lot of issues. Leo obviously is not, that's not the situation here. Um, and to be like 100% transparent with you guys, like I share a lot of my life and I'm usually very open and raw about it because I don't really know any other way to be in any, being in any other way than that and being an open, like not being an open book would just be really unnatural to me and not comfortable. So I just put myself out there, which is a very vulnerable state to be in because people kind of think that because you have, you know, hundreds of thousands of followers or whatever, that you don't have feelings, you don't see their comments. Um, and we do. There's people here working today. So if you hear anything, it's them, but I have feelings and like, I don't, I was trying to figure out how much of this I wanted to share when I usually I just share everything because I don't, I don't really think about it, but I really don't, um, need to hear anybody's comments about like what I should have done or what I could have done or anything like that because I have been just in a lot of pain and completely beating myself up about that. I mean, Leah was like my best friend. So, um, I was trying to, you know, kind of figure that out. So the Tuesday, the day after, um, Valentine's day, uh, I woke up at midnight. I sleep with earplugs in, um, to like Leo basically making a lot of noise and screaming. And by the time I got the light on, Nick was already on Piper and Leo was there on the ground and I tried to pick him up and he just like absolutely bit the shit out of my finger. Like it's gonna scar, I think. Um, bit the shit out of Nick's finger. I mean, obviously he was fighting for his life. Basically what we think happened um, is we think that Piper put her head on the bed and Leo was growling at her as he usually does. Leo has always been alpha. And you know, we always thought like, it was Nick's dream to have a golden retriever. And you know, we thought oh, if we get a really small puppy, like they'll grow up together and bond and they'll know that Leo is the alpha, but Leo's five pounds. So 
Um, you know, we've had Piper for since she was eight weeks old, a year and a half, and Leo's always trying to been the dominant one, and she just ignored him. And I just thought that that was the way that they worked. You know, Piper knew to ignore him and whatever. But he always would nag at her, you know, like if she was running back inside the house, he would kind of jump up at her and growl and bite, like not hurt or anything, but just kind of like, and then anytime I would be reprimanding Piper, Leah would be there to help. Like, yeah, do what she says, you know, kind of a thing. And I would try to like reprimand Leo to like back off, I've got this, you know, and it just didn't really let up. And so I think, we think that Piper put her head on the bed, Leo growled at her and she grabbed him. So I realized after picking up Leo that it was pretty bad. Um, <sighs> sorry, but like reliving. It was literally like the worst night of my life. <sighs> Like, literally, the worst night of my entire life. Uh, we called like six vets and only one would take us. Like the sixth one we called was taking us, but they're 30 minutes away. So we made it there and it was just the most excruciating car ride. And thank goodness Nick was here that night. I don't know what I would have done if he wasn't. Um, so after x-rays and Leo being in an incubator and stuff, um, we were basically given two options and one was to let him go and one was to shove him full of tubes and everything and the vet was like, his insides are like messed up, broken ribs. Um, <laughs> So she said basically like if we tried to like and he had a pneumothorax and like if we tried to like clean this all out and like put tubes down his throat she was like the chances of him surviving that are so slim he's so little you know and he's just gonna be honestly in a lot of pain being having tubes and having all this done to him and nick you know being in the medical field and stuff he was like we don't want to do that to him so we decided um, not to do that and to say goodbye to him. And I think that's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And then I had to, I um, had to look through videos and stuff of like me with Leo earlier that day in like the puffy mattress post and it was just really sad because no one knew what had happened when I had posted that but I had to post on a specific day you know and having to like look at those and see Leo on my lap was just like like so heartbreaking dude like so rough so I decided that we needed to talk to a behavioralist we needed to find out is Piper gonna do this again? Is this neurological? Like, what is the deal? Because I thought the dogs had like a new slate every day with dogs or humans or whatever. And they just had a new slate, you know? I didn't think it was like built up like a meter of like what they're gonna take and not. But anyways, I was lucky enough to be put in touch with like a really well-known like behavioralist with like a lot of credentials. Um, told her the history and you know uh she was not delicate with the way she said it but she basically said that I don't think your dog has any neurological issues at all she said the fact of the matter is that the bedroom is a very <sighs> special place for dogs it's like a very territorial place and you know unfortunately there were fighting for the dominance and like your little dog was bullying Piper for a year and a half of her life and she snapped um, and she said I'm not surprised and I was just like well damn if I had known this you know and um, basically 
sorry, I'm getting distracted by the people out, out working on the house. Um, she basically said, I really, really don't think your dog has neurological issues. She had almost, she's like, I, I bet you anything. Like I, I would put a lot on it that she had just had enough. Um, and she said, you know, if your dog hadn't been five pounds and extremely delicate, he wouldn't have passed away and this wouldn't have happened that way. He just didn't know how small he was. So that's pretty much what happened. And um, my heart is like hurting a lot. You know, you go through your head of like, what I could have done, what I should have done, what I shouldn't have done. We never should have got Piper, you know, like all these things. And it sucks to do that. That game is like dangerous because at the end of the day, I did everything that I thought was best. And I have to just know that and whatever, but I just, I miss, I miss him like so much. Like every morning is just really difficult because we had a routine and he's just gone. I hope that he's like in heaven with like the biggest pile of tennis balls ever. <laughs> yeah, and then I ended up kind of not filming anything else till like that next Friday, um, which is why I decided to do a part two. I'm gonna add or upload um, the next vlog tomorrow morning, uh, which is Thursday morning after this one because I've been sitting here talking for 11 minutes now. So this vlog is going to be extremely long and I hate to end it on a sad note. So, um, that I'm sorry for that, <laughs> but, um, we will, I'll be uploading another vlog tomorrow and it will be a happy one and end on a happy note. <laughs> and, uh, Thank you all for like the sweet messages you've sent me as well. I really appreciate them. And like Leo knew how much he was loved. For sure, that dog was spoiled. I loved him more than anything. I even remember telling Nick, I was like, when something happens to Leo, like you better, <laughs> that's gonna be a really really rough time so um even nick's been crying a ton too like we just have both been like just so sad obviously but i won't make this even longer but we will see you tomorrow morning for another uh, i'm gonna just say part two since these are um from last week but <sighs> I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday and have a good Wednesday evening. And um, again, sorry to end this on like a sad note, but this vlog is just gonna be way too long. So we will see you guys tomorrow morning.